Chelsea Clinton calls out GOP's attack on trans youth. Chelsea Clinton participated in a virtual press conference on September 6th where she called out legislation against attacks against the trans community. She was present to promote her new show, Gutsy, on Apple TV+. Plus. Chelsea, who is 42 years old, I can't believe she's 42 years old, wow. She's 42 years old, spoke to Hollywood Life and expressed her disappointment towards laws from Republicans against members of the LGBTQ plus community, especially transgender kids. She warned about the negative impact of these laws on other issues, saying that these laws are an attack on the honest telling of American history, on teachers who want to educate students, and on parents wanting their children to have the best care possible, including gender affirming care. Chelsea requested Americans to stand up in support of trans kids and their families when they vote in upcoming elections. She expressed a need for gutsiness and to use voices to stand up, vote, and call attention to the issues harming society in order to amplify good where it is happening. Chelsea also implored people to try to protect women and kids and to advance more opportunities for everyone so that they all can live their best, fullest lives. The former first lady of the U.S., Hillary Clinton, who was also available during the press conference, expressed her views following the reversal of Roe v. Wade, saying that there is a need for women to have their voices heard, experiences respected, and we want to help make it happen in every way possible. Oh, I love this. I still can't believe Chelsea's 42. But I mean, everything that both of them said, yeah. Chelsea and her mom, like just nailed everything on the head as to like what we wish that right wing folks would understand or the Tucker Carlson viewers of the world would be able to see. Yeah. We're not yes. awful people. We just want kids to live their best and true and authentic life. And I don't think that's a lot to ask for. Yeah. You know, this drops Friday on Apple TV. Mm -hmm. So I've already cleared out a block of time in my Friday schedule. It's gonna be, a, it's a docu-series. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's like them talking about serious issues while having fun. Like she's, they're playing Jenga with some celebrities and they're talking to local people. Like, like Tatiana Williams is not in it, but people like that. They go to communities and meet with activists as well. So it's celebrities, it's real people on the ground and it's very cool. But what you're not gonna be seeing in this is a lot of like behind the scene insight into uh, the Clinton marriage. Uh, there's a little bit of discussion in. I think the entire thing is played in the trailer, like mm. just to kind of get us in. But you're not going to see a lot of that. It's going to be focused on real. It's not going to be super sensational. It's going to be focused on real topics, real issues affecting women, which means that they're affecting America. Yeah. But, you know, most of the celebrities they talk with, um, I've interviewed already. So, you know, late to the party. But, you know, welcome. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. Ah. Wow. wow. Every like, opportunity. Wow. Like, uh, like who? Uh, all of them. Well, let's see. Tiffany Haddish. I don't know if you know about that. We. Um, yes, you were engaged to her for yeah. a short period of time. I, 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 I was. It was It was just wonderful. <laughs> I miss you, Tiff. <laughs> I think this is great. And I did see the previews for Gutsy. I think it's amazing that both Hillary and Chelsea are out there. They're not campaigning for any any election. They're just being real people making a difference. And it's a, I love the fact that they care enough to make a difference, that yeah. they want to see people, that their their strengths and their, their the best foot forward is seen by others and that they give them credit for what they're doing. I think this show is, is amazing. And the fact that people hate Hillary, just to hate Hillary just confuses me. I've never understood that. And here she's doing something amazing. I, yeah. I love it. I and love it the feels story. authentic. Like it doesn't feel yeah. like BS. You know how many no. times like we'll see like a TV yeah. show and it's like, it doesn't feel like that's really them. Like they're just yeah. trying to play the role to get the votes or to get whatever. It doesn't right. feel that way. Chelsea and Hillary were both on The View this morning and they were just like, just so fantastic, you know? They've got I, a great relationship. They do. Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't hang out with Bill, right? They right. gotta hang out with each that's other, right? right? <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'll hang out with you, Bill. I love Bill Clam and his little saxophone. Did you see Bill at, uh, watching Serena Williams play the other oh. night? He was sitting next to Dr. Ruth and she looked like she was telling She's him. She's still alive? Yeah. And she was That's sitting right. there like, oh my God, I manifested <laughs> Dr. Ruth. I just thought about her today. Like, I really thought to myself, I wonder if Dr. Ruth is still alive. Like, you know, you told me to watch this new show, Sex Education. You got to watch it. And when you told so me good. that, I thought of Dr. Ruth. And I'm like, oh, she's probably dead, Bodicita. No, <laughs> she's, she's still alive. kicking it. She was at the game, at the match, sitting next to Bill Clinton, okay. looking like she was giving him advice. Because he was just turning colors, and she's like, you can't do that. We were all trying to insert <laughs> words into whatever conversation was going oh, on. In that. That. <laughs> if you even remotely recorded that, just dial back and watch that. I see that. Because even the uh, reporters were sitting there going, what do you think they're talking about? So 
They're probably Let's not talking make it about, about their next the Amazon order, or whatever. Yeah. Listen, no, I'm very excited <laughs> about room. Hillary and Chelsea. Yeah. I think that they're going to do a fantastic job with this brand new show. It's a nice spotlight. It's a mother and daughter show. Why not? You know, we need something better. Look, and Chelsea again. Love it. My vainness. Chelsea looks good again. Yeah, I was right. Really like though that beautiful. age, like she was weird. Yeah. Like she just, <laughs> she just looked weird, and you just went, "I put a seat down." Maybe she'll grow into that head, right? And yeah. like now you see her, she's like a pretty woman. She's it took her to hit yeah. forty to be pretty. I mean, and some keratin, her. but like, wow! It, yeah. keratin, She's got her mom's cheeks. John, keratin is for the hair, just in case you don't know what that's for. I just wanted to make sure oh, that yeah. you knew. It, it works on me, just in different parts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow! No, she does look great. Cool. She absolutely great. Cool. But I, I must say, I have to tell a little uh, story that Dr. Ruth was my first celebrity that I waited on when I was still a waiter in New York. Shut what? Oh so, yeah, so I actually. What did she eat? Oh, that I don't remember. Hot dogs. No, but it was at a livery cafe <laughs> in... Uh, <laughs> Jumbo. Sausage and papaya. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, so I was starstruck. I remember I was very, very young. You know, like 15 or so. Did she tip well? <laughs> she did tip well. She did tip yeah. well. Yeah. And when you were 15, she probably looks exactly the same now. All she those totally years later, does. right? I mean, but she looks so... I hate to say this, but she looks so old back then. But she's always yeah. looked at. Yeah. It's the yeah. sex. Yeah. The sex <laughs> Don't say that. For, no, the sex has kept her around forever. Oh, okay. Not that oh. the sex has gotten her old. Okay, thing. I thought it, it had her looking bad. No, no, no. look how good I look, and I have sex at least three times a day. That's why I'm always waiting for things. All right, Dan. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to go and delve into that. Okay. Next. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.